Part two. I think I was uh, cut off a little bit. Uh, my my phone died. <laughs> oh, you know what's what's life about. But anyway, we were talking about the economical um, reset where we are going towards the gold and silver standard. Um, I do not propose that I know anything about this, but I've been listening to Pimpy's investment channel. I've been listening to a lot of people that have been in the industry for a longer period of time. So, you know, many say, you know, you should buy gold, you should buy silver, um, the actual physical part of it. So that is just that is just something that I have heard and it sounds smart because we had we left the gold standard in the 70s and that was when we ended up being controlled by the central banks, by the families, the 13 families. Um, we were controlled by, uh, well, monetarily controlled and, and how, how do you control people? Well, you keep them in a place where they are surviving, but you don't get enough you don't get ahead ever. Every time you feel feel that you're getting ahead, then the taxes are cut, put in to place. And as you guys know, if you're still undecided, look at your wallet. Now, if it is worse than it was before because of COVID, understand that COVID is gonna go away just as, long, as soon as the election goes through. Whatever happens, COVID is gonna go away suddenly. It, it's a, it's a flu-like issue, as you know. But what I'd like you to know, what I'd like you to think of is think about a world that has no wars where you unite with your neighbors. Now, maybe you have neighbors you don't want to unite with, but you become more united. You help each other. The government is here to serve you. You are not here to serve the government. In other words, a different way of, of living and that is where we are headed, actually. As soon as we drain more of the swamp, there's a lot that needs to still be cleared. But that is where we are heading if we continue down this road. And the information that I'm getting from the above very often has to do with the fact we will, we, we as a people will choose, do we wanna evolve easily or difficult? Difficulty. Um, and, and one of the things is easily would be that we would choose Trump and then he could continue finishing the job that he promised JFK's son, John F. Kennedy's son that he would do, or we can wait and see how long it'll take before most people wake up. And, and, and unfortunately, Time seems to not be on our side, but unless there's a big uh, joke going on, if you look at all the polls and if you look at all the people that are that are standing up for 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 Trump, you see that there are a lot of people that really really are backing up behind him. But I want to talk to you guys that still are not. Um, sure that you're doing the right thing and the reason why I want to talk to you is because you, you you're you not sure who should I choose one or the other both sound really really you know in some in some situations sound really really bad now if you have to listen to what the mass media has been telling you about Trump and you don't listen to anybody else and you feel that that must be the truth then I would like to know I would like you to know one incident that happened here and one of it was when the biden story started to come out from the new york times now the new york times usually is a is a newspaper that has been around for a long time and they completely shut that down what does that tell you there's a lot of stories behind that we are not getting through i can guarantee you that if there was anything that needed to be brought up to the surface that had anything to do with Trump and any, any illegal things that he had been doing, that would have been coming up. And because the mass media are being, are owned by the families, 
they dictate what you what you're watching what you're seeing they dictate what you hear they dictate everything and they want to dictate what you eat by putting gmo in everything what you what what you breathe in by doing the chemtrails they want to control they want to dumb you down by the pharmaceuticals and everybody who is behind them everybody who's behind everybody who is who is on that side is biden biden is their puppet and as you see he's not making much sense so I would say I would say one thing and that is if you're a smart person and you're choosing with your heart because you want your family and you want your your um your family and you want health and you want wealth and you want a good life then there's only one possibility and that's Trump. And I'm not here campaigning for him. It's just the facts. If you look at the whitehouse.gov and you see what is being ha what has been done, what is being done for the people. Do you think that he would have even stepped up to the plate if he didn't know that his future's family as well was at stake just like yours and mine? He wouldn't have had to do anything. He has a good life. Who wants to be ridiculed for the rest every single day of your life and being uh, uh, threatened every single day as well. Who wants to do that? Who would do that? Would you do that? Would you s set you up as yourself up as a target and your whole family because you believe in something because you no, you wouldn't. This takes a tough cookie. This takes a tough man to be able to do that. But he's also a sensitive person. As a person that is able to see beyond, beyond, I've seen him in a vulnerable state where he was very, very sad because he's like, it's almost like he's going against a wave of people that don't understand what's really going on. And what's really going on is that our freedoms and I'm talking about white lives matter. I'm talking about black lives matter. I'm talking about all lives matter. I'm talking about babies matter. I'm talking about young women matter. He's putting himself out there between the thugs and the cabal and the Illuminati and everybody and you. He's making peace with the world, which nobody thought was possible until you find out that the reason why we've had these wars had nothing to do with those countries, had everything to do with the cabal, had everything to do with programming us into fear and keeping us there so they can keep us enslaved. You know, there's still some days left and if you haven't voted yet, maybe check whitehouse.gov and see all the executive orders that have been put through. You see, that information is out. You can see it in public. Or check some of his um, press conference, press releases and so on and so forth. Go into the whitehouse.gov um, and, and, you, and you, might, you might see that there's a lot that has been done for you. He's even written an executive order that has to do with medication that's gonna be so low that everybody's going to have money for it. The only reason why he hasn't given us an extra stimulus has been because he's been stopped by Pelosi. It's another family that needs to get out of there. Um, and, and many of the Democrats, I mean, some of the Republicans as well. I'm not saying they're, I mean, there's evil. And I don't say the Democrats are evil and Republicans are good. No, I'm saying that the Democrats have done you know they have unfortunately teamed up with this and what you what many of us are not understanding and i say us because i didn't understand it until very very a couple of weeks ago probably is that china is behind a lot of this china has been conducting they wanted to own the united states so they put a lot of money into the companies here. 
and they were, they were dictating what was allowed and what wasn't. That's what many people don't understand. This country was about to be having a hostile takeover. They're still trying it though. Trump is the only one in between because Biden was open to it. Oh yes, give me some money and you know what? You can take the US of A, we don't care. Sorry about that folks. And if you don't believe me, that's good. Go do your own research because I love you. I would not sit here and say this if I'm not 100% convinced. I would never do that. And as you might know, I'm the first, this is the first time ever in my whole life, you might not know this, but this is the first time ever in my whole life that I'm actually uh, being able to vote uh, the first years of my life I lived in Denmark, I couldn't vote. Then I moved to the U.S., couldn't vote because I wasn't American. Then I moved to Sweden, couldn't vote because I wasn't Sweden, Swedish. And then moved back to the U.S. And now finally I've gotten my citizenship. Yay! And I can vote. So I'm really, I think every vote counts. So please go out. And if you don't agree with me, please put in the comments below. Let's let's talk about it. Let's Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can educate each other because I've been looking at the other side as well. Uh, but every time I went down the rabbit hole to see, okay, so what has Biden done that has been good? <sighs> I don't see a track record that has been really good. I see a lot of, a lot of corruption, unfortunately. I see a lot of um, meddling. I see a lot of offshore companies, yada, 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 yada. And as far as I know, a polit politician should be making millions off of deals uh, with other countries while they are in, uh, while they're in office. They might do it afterwards, but not while they're in office because that's an, a conflict of interest. As far as I know, I'm not a lawyer. Don't kill me on that one. But let's talk. I'm willing to talk because what I see through my heart is that, and, I, and, and one thing I have to tell you too, is that I have met President Trump. I have met him briefly, but he has a heart. And that's what people are feeling. They're feeling the love. They're feeling the fact that he's fighting for so many people. But if you're not, if you do not agree I respect that. Well, let's talk about it then. Okay? I love you. Over and out.